Uh, thank you very much. Uh, yes, today uh, is a dark day. It's a dark day for me, a dark day for Odaya people, a dark day for Nyeri people, and uh, a dark day for this country at large. Uh, we've uh, lost uh, a great statesman, uh, a visionary leader, a leader who you can never talk about this country without referring to him. Uh, I therefore want to pass my condolences, those of my family, and uh, to the people, to the family of Mze, uh, to all the children and the family at large. I want to pass my condolences to the people of Odaya and to Kenyans at large for this great loss. Uh, uh, yes, we all know that uh, death is inevitable and we'll all go that way. But uh, yes, the, timely, the timing of uh, his death at a time when this country needs him much, much more uh, puts us uh, in a very sad state. Uh, but yes, it's the will of God and as Christians, we have to honor the will of God. Uh, yes, I will remember him there for many things. Personally, he's been my mentor. I was lucky to have met him uh, while I was in high school uh, and when he was the vice president of this country. And uh, since then, uh, he's really been a little mentor. Uh, and then I was lucky when he became the president. I had a chance to serve as his chairman of their development as a, uh, association, an organization that actually uh, carried out his work in Odaya. And I did coordinate that. Actually, he, he used uh, to refer to me as Mjumbe Wauko. And yes, so I've been an acting member of parliament then, uh, working for him, uh, being his uh, messenger on the ground, and uh, he took time to mentor me on how to serve others. How to serve others. Because Mze lived a, li a selfless life of serving others. Ensuring uh, he improves the lives of others. And uh, that's something I learned from him. Uh, that life is not all about ourselves. How big we are how great we are, is about serving others. And yes, that's the life he lived. That's the life he lived. Uh, so uh, I just want to say, uh, uh, now that uh, their people did give me that opportunity to carry on his vision, and a great vision uh, that will continue carrying on his legacy uh, ensuring that his legacy projects, particularly in Odaya, uh, will continue, will continue uh, in all sectors. As you know, he started uh, uh, projects and, uh, uh, you know, great projects in Odaya, in all walks of life, in education, uh, in, uh, uh, in infrastructure, uh, in health, care sector, in all sectors. And uh, this is the kind of legacy we want to sustain, we want to maintain and see that those projects continue uh, serving the great people of Odaya in agriculture, in all areas. Uh, you know we have the uh, Odaya Hospital which actually started as a level four and uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta has been very supportive, and today it is a level six hospital. And uh, we'll want to continue uh, building it until it reaches the standards of a, a level six hospital, so that we'll have a board and it will be able to serve uh, Mount Kenya region uh, the way he envisaged and the way he intended. We'll continue to expand agriculture, uh, doing irrigation, uh, ensuring we do diversification in Odaya uh, because those are the things he, he really thought about 
for their people. Uh, we've already started some. We have Shagashisha irrigation scheme. We're having Lokera water uh, irrigation scheme and many more. Uh, all these will carry on as his legacy. Will carry on as his legacy. In terms of education, uh, he started, uh, uh, actually we have two county schools in each ward in Odaya. A very great legacy. So again, we'll continue building those schools, ensuring the quality is unmatched, uh, because that is what he, he, he would wish. He would wish. So we'll carry on uh, his wishes, uh, because he was a great respecter of education. He supported education. As you know, his uh, uh, legacy on uh, free primary education will outlive uh, all of us uh, because he made sure many kids who never have seen the inside of classrooms actually went to school. And uh, as we keep saying, uh, everyone's uh, dream is valid. So he made sure that all these kids, all these kids, if you are born in this country, Yes, you'll have a chance uh, to achieve your dream because all dreams are valid. So yes, he's, a, he's left this country uh, with a vision to carry on. We know that we have vision 2030, uh, which for sure, if properly implemented, is a tran transformation uh, to, the, to the lives, to the economy, and to the social welfare of this nation.